<laughs> okay, uh, call to order a uh, special work session uh, to talk about trees of the Common Council of the uh, City of Lawrenceburg. Um, one topic tonight, uh, trees are important. Right, Tony? Important. Very important. Um, we had a, a, a plan from Davies. And by the way, we just got our reimbursement for our $10,000 nice. today, it was, I think. Wonderful. So we got that money back on that grant. Um, but anyway, um, I, I don't know that we, uh, I, and I just want to run this by you guys, and I, I, I actually did very briefly with Tony and, and Paul, but I think that uh, we don't need to make this as difficult as we right. need to. Right, I agree, 100%. Um, what, what about, I mean, can we all agree that, okay, uh, not everybody is going to want a tree. Can we all agree on that, right? Yeah. But there are some people that do. We don't know how many. Um, so what I would think is, is uh, the most, uh, the easiest, simplest maybe way to try to go about it, and, and obviously it's up to you guys, is we, we, we put a notice out in the paper and we say, hey, citizens of Lawrenceburg, um, we know many trees have been removed over the years due to the bore ash and things like that, right? Um, if you want a tree replaced in a spot that you once had a tree that the city had to remove, a meeting on X date, and what you do, they do that we, we, we have a table set up in here and we take people's names and we tell them that, hey, you know, uh, we'll come over and meet with the individual and give them a choice of three trees based upon the size of the area they have, right? Yep. Um, and, and make it pretty simple. And we cut it off, you know. If, if, they, don't, if they don't contact us by a su such and such a date, the program's done. And they don't get one. <laughs> I mean, it can't be something that goes on forever. It can't be something that um, we don't want it to expand out to the concrete program. Mm -hmm. But I think, <laughs> are you clearing your throat? Yeah, there? Is that uh, uh, But I, I mean, is that is that too simple? Or does that make sense? Well, I want, the, only, the only thing I would ask is if we maybe run an ad in the paper and put an application for the people that can't get mm -hmm. out of their home or oh, okay. elderly or something yeah. that would be right. the only other why don't we put it in the utility bill we yeah, can do put that utility bill tell them call their city councilman and their district utility bill. Them, i don't care put phone numbers in there i can't make it to the meeting but i'd like to have one so i'm gonna call my councilman and he can write my name down or something well and i think we can i i don't think it's going to be hundreds of people no i don't think so. I, I really don't i, I mean if we some, get 20 or 25 people i think it's going to be a lot what about streets that don't have any trees in it like center street there's mm -hmm. people on center street and i don't care that's not my district guys I'm, I'm not saying no, i think it's, my, it's not my district i think but it's they're all to. wanting trees on center street because they used to have them well but i think it's up to we send it out in the utility bill tony they have a chance to okay so to not get just the ones who had one but ones we'll have to discuss that with our utility director see if it's feasible to put in well i think that's where we're going to have to some be areas won't, won't make yeah, sense. some areas yeah won't. some areas won't make sense some areas you know somebody is going to say hey i want this big tree back well, that, that's not going to work there the north yeah. side maybe the south no, no. side what, what you say, i mike? agree with that mike uh, yep yeah, mayor i got a couple comments um, i think a lot just tony your side of the street we can address that we've got a tentative Mainly set up and discuss a off ride free program. Well, let, let me interrupt there. Let me finish okay, before that's you fine. do because you guys can do what you're saying and save money on concrete restoration. But we can do that to where anyone then could have the option we'll set up parameters and to do that um, and, and just like this this is a little misleading you see this planning site plan it's not really a planning site plan it's a potential 
And I found this out during the bid process with Davies because these are all sites that they say are potential plant sites. The one thing that has not been looked at or addressed that has a major bearing on this is I have to go out and flag every one of these locations, do the 811 call, see what utilities, and I can tell you for a fact, in right of way, we're going to lose a large number of sites off well, of this, and that's why right of way is a way to handle it that anyone that wants a tree, we can help accommodate do that. I, I think that's another option. I, I agree. I, I don't disagree with that option. My my thing is is I I think uh, we we see who applies, and then we we can do our you know. Well, flagging but we have right? to get to this point he just made what he is saying he doesn't want to put them back out in that green strip on the sidewalk which i say after 20 years of listening to engineers is bullshit because i've seen too many towns around here with a small little circle with nothing but cement and a tree in the middle of them you got any we're recording them. okay i don't care uh, okay. and again. And tony that's <laughs> but, that's your so opinion. they should go I back strongly disagree and with the you, sidewalk repair mike i'll do what I, I, I know in my to. district the sidewalk repair 90 percent of it was not because of trees it was because of the cement being poured in the beginning poorly and it cracked uh, you are 100 percent wrong i am not 100 percent wrong because i've gone around and marked all of them with mario and it had nothing to do with trees there might be a couple of them no, but the all the others was just piss poor concrete being poured it's settled and cracked now why can i drive any any city around here and see a tree in a little damn three-foot circle and nothing but cement everywhere around and that tree's doing fine most of the places have a larger area that they're planting. might say most area. places but i've so seen all kinds of places the majority all of kinds them. of towns have just and a little hole there some of the towns were also led down the wrong road Did just like Lawrence, just like lawrenceburg was lawrenceburg that, wasn't led down the wrong road don't think you can plant these trees in the sidewalk park. first we had the concrete our trees were cut down because we ash borers yeah, not because but of the sidewalks. sidewalks were replaced the concrete rings and the, we had the no, concrete rings were replaced because they're only that big to begin with so you took uh, the rings out and they, they had were, the rest of the ground to grow big, they were lifting them up but that's because the inside circle was only that big no yeah. i can show you some over there Tony. i can show you pictures of everywhere i'll drive around all over indiana and i'll show you pictures of all kinds of trees going in sidewalks they're doing just can fine. anybody else talk no <laughs> If there was a tree in that green spot, there needs to be another tree there. Well, let, let's do this. I, I think we, we just evaluate it as we go back when people sign up for it. I mean, yeah, but I but don't want to get an argument and say, because, okay, it can't go in the green here. It's got to go in their yard, and that's what's going on. No, no, here. it may depend on the size they want. Yeah, the size is everything. I include. But listen, what <laughs> size I'm saying. Is everything. What I'm saying. <laughs> Suzanne, quit smiling. We're gonna we're gonna have to I mean we're gonna have to use our judgment on electrical lines and different things. Right. If if we wanna let them put a small one in a spot, it should be evaluated. Ma'am, here's what and then I also believe, Dale, that we were talking about having a uh weren't we gonna put together some type of a, uh an agreement that if when once you take this tree they're responsible for it. We're done. Yeah, that and that's what Mike's yeah, talking and about and with off. That's right going to be worked out. Yeah. Yeah. We, but we then something that. along the lines: if we do put one in the green space and it does push the sidewalk back up, we'll take it out and we won't put a tree back in. Yeah, and that's why I think like that I think Mayor's sure. right. We should because every site's going to be different based on the tree, based on the location. It's got to clear Mike Clark. It's got to clear Olin. And then it's got a clear legal with the final agreement. So if we just see who wants one, we can analyze the spots and I think Kelly's do it right. Way. We're only looking at We're I making it too hard. A lot of people. I think I, I <clears throat> so my concern is if you if you offer a free tree to anybody who asks for a tree and you put it in the utility bill, you're gonna get the majority of people saying they want a tree. More trees the better. I, I don't disagree. But I think that having some small token amount of an application fee, like $5 to have the site evaluated, something like that, 
you're going to weed a lot of people out who don't really want a tree or even care, and and you're going to get you're going to focus down on people who actually probably do want a tree. I mean, five dollars is nothing, but if you just say, "Hey, anybody wants a tree, just respond to us. We'll give you a tree." Everybody's going to want a tree. That's great. Well, I don't I, want this I, to come into everybody wanting no, a tree. No, I, I, I agree. The key to this, I agree. Right, is whoever used to have a tree because we don't need. Yeah. But 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 who used to have a tree? Because people are going to tell that's you they used to have one. Right. There's a hole in every front of every house and that and sidewalk. That's easy. That, well, I think everybody's going to say, "Well, hell, I used to have a tree," and I don't know that we can prove or disprove the fact that's, that they did or didn't. That's Center Street because they're all wiped out on Center. So well, if you tell people there's a five dollar application for evaluation, some people can say, "Yeah, I don't really want a tree then," and some people can say, "Sure, five bucks, I'll I'll go through it," or something gives them a little skin in the game. I just think if you open it up for anybody for a free tree, everybody's going to want one. Like every single person we send a letter to is probably going to say, yeah, I love the idea of trees. I, I think that if we, we use the, some verbiage in there that, that says, um, uh, we explain what we're doing here first, okay? And, and explain to them that we're trying to go back and replace some trees that, that used to be, you know, Street streetscape st uh, trees, not trees that were in somebody's yard that got cut right. down because of a a power line or whatever the case may have been, um, because we can't prove that it didn't get struck by lightning and got, got you know that kind of thing. But I think if we just if we have some verbiage in there that ex it, it, very simple one pager that explains that well um, to have a tree in a spot that that once had a tree I, I don't know a better way to say it there's a, you guys can figure it out but there's got to be I, I I can't see and, and we're actually we're only talking about downtown yeah I mean because we haven't cut any trees down there's no you know the sidewalks and stuff uh, that are uh, up, up on the hill you don't want any trees mayor only park no, trees. I don't want any trees. Does the city have can a trimming? We, can we be safe and say the Does levy the city district have a might? No. <laughs> you tried. Yeah. yeah. That, that covers everything. That, that covers everything. That, covered, done, that covers, that covers this you, whole project. Why would you complicate it and let the public weigh into it? Why wouldn't you just tell your city officials, hey, every place that used to have a tree, go and make contact with that person to see if they want a tree back? Because I think we're only going to get 15 well, or 20 people calling. There's talk as many 20 people, 20 people that don't want the trees. And I know you've heard from them, too, because birds dump yeah, on their that's, car. There, that's there's a true. lot of people that don't want them, but there are people that do want them. Um, that's why I'm. That's why I'm saying, though. I mean, we got to. I think. I think right we give people an opportunity. Like. I, I, and I, I know what you're saying about the five dollar thing. It probably could weed out people, but we're it's Lawrenceburg. You know how people feel about that. Yeah, everything's free, right? Yep. They think five dollars is too much to pay for a tree. I uh, bet that uh, boat sitting over there. That boat should pay that five bucks. That's what being you facetious. Want to hear. But, but the thing is, I think that um, it, all and say, hey, yes, I would like to be evaluated. I, I, I don't want to pay a guy as much as we got to do in this city I don't want to tie somebody up and go on looking for everybody if they don't want to come to us I don't want to deal with them if it ain't important enough for them to take it out of the paper fill it out get it to us somehow or, or come to this meeting I don't want to chase them down we got too many other things for our guys to do or just put a notice in the paper, put the applications down here, make them have an effort to come down here. If they don't have that effort to come down here, they don't get the tree. And we put an end to it. Or we could do it very simply and just say, hey, um, residents of downtown Lawrenceburg, um, we are evaluating our, our, our treescape um, program. Uh, if you're interested in uh, a tree, back in a spot and, and come to this meeting. and then we see who's in the meeting there may be 50 people okay during the meeting we just say hey 
here's here's going to be the process real simple we're going to come out we're going to evaluate and here's your choice you know it's you, you get a choice of this this tree we're paying for it right you can even do that two sessions have an afternoon session and an evening session for those people that work afternoons and stuff like that to accommodate them and then do it once each and be done with it yeah well i'm all for one meeting i hate right, meetings I know, i'm so you know tired of meetings meeting. <laughs> In case you hear somebody complaining about something, they can't that's on record. The <laughs> it is on record. Good point. Right. But but you know what I'm saying? I mean, we could do it that way. I mean, just invite them to a meeting. Sure. And not and then and then we explain the process very simply, very quickly. And if are you, are you if you're still interested, come up, sign your name, give us your address, phone number, and somebody will be contacting you. And put, you might put that in if you do that to the local paper or something. Yeah. Put the little of information on there so they won't come in here blindsided. They'll know what they're in here for and what they're, you know. Yeah. We can we can notice the meeting in our utility bill. Right. There you go. You can say the, the more meeting, will be, the the meeting will be on be. such and such date. And then people can't say they weren't aware. Yeah. Well, a reduced number of getting utilities yeah. checked. What's that? would be very yeah, nice and I think that's what's going to happen Mike I could try to get all these no, areas no I agree with you they don't want them there that that's a lot of time yep no time and money and effort so I think we 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 post a meeting in the paper Owen can put it in his newsletter because not everybody gets the paper I, we get that um, I can even mention on the radio right I mean do yeah. that too that but but the thing is is that, i mean very simplistic say hey if you're interested in uh, uh possibly getting a a tree replaced that was once in front of your house not on the side of your house not in the backyard you know what i mean that was in front of your house uh we will have a public meeting to talk about the process for the treescape program on such a date when do we want to close this and Then, out? based on those addresses I can have my guys go by and look and see if it's a problem for utilities for overhead lines right we can They're sign right off right. on that yeah you I guys think can it's do a, whatever you're doing I and uh, as far as the uh, sign off day I mean if we say we say by uh, um, we're gonna have this meeting on August the I don't know third let's just say August third I'll close whatever. it then we start evaluating yeah okay yeah. Could somebody get the posting once the verbiage is together? Yeah, I'll start working on uh, tonight and tomorrow, and have something over to you, Suzanne, and to Olin. Yeah. So if we're if you get the dates to me, uh, I can get it in the July mailing for the July bill. Awesome. Well, we could actually do it right before a, a council meeting on uh, in August because, I mean, I, all we're going to do. Is or explain the process to people let them sign up to be evaluated yep. period we're gonna do it august 6th we're not, we're not picking august trees 6th. we're not doing anything at night you know what i'm saying yep. Yep. monday august 2nd okay is that, that it or five o'clock we did five o'clock so is that the meeting august august 6th i think it be your first 6th? meeting in yeah august so at five o'clock on August sixth. Okay. Does that sound okay? But, and then we cut it off. I mean, if, if they don't, if they don't call or come to a meeting by August sixth, it's Man, you're done. That, that program's you, over with. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. No on. exception. Well, I didn't know about it. I didn't hear about it. Well, I'm sorry. We we We're put it in the utility bill. We put it in the paper. We put it on the radio. We I don't know how. So the August sixth is that what we're going for? Yep. Five o'clock. Okay. So I'll have them put that in there. Once you get the verbiage, I'd like to read through it tomorrow. Okay. I just want to have some limiting language that makes it clear that we can review it and reject it if it doesn't comply with LMU or uh, planning and zoning. On what size of tree well, why, why, yeah. I don't know that we needed that in the initial meeting. I think the meeting, we can explain that in the process that night. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be soft language, but it'll just basically say you can apply for a tree and then we have to evaluate it. You're not yeah. guaranteed a tree. Good. Okay. But it won't be harsh. It won't. Fine. Be, okay. And I'll let you review it before it goes out, obviously. You guys okay with that? Yeah. I'm good. That's simple enough for you Elm Street people? That's good for me. <laughs> that worked. Although we're leaving good. Center Street out. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. You said just the ones who used to have a tree. No, we're not. 
Well, it can be anybody, if right? Had, if you did, have, that's that's way I want to word it because that way, it, it, well, I don't Center want everybody. I don't want everybody calling Center Street. You're going back fifteen. <clears throat> Well, if we years. get people coming from Center Street, and then we'll say, hey, we'll evaluate it. Get your name on the list. All right. That way people who didn't used to have a tree could still get one, and people that didn't Now, you don't need to go put flyers on everybody's line. houses they they can, uh, on Center Street and say, come to this meeting. <laughs> it's not my district. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Take Olin with but the flyers you. will be on District 1. Hey, uh, I, I really did want to talk about one other topic, uh, but we've got Street. two people not here. Um, uh, the financing for the, the Flaherty and Collins project, because uh, we got to we got to get we got to start making some decisions uh, and start working on the development and agreement. We got to get Flaherty and Collins down to the Army Corps of Engineers for for a meeting. Isn't that what we decided to do? And here's where we're at on that. Yesterday, um, we sent out a letter to David Wasowski. He promised me a meeting with what we're talking about. We got three projects. He said he would set it up in the next two to three weeks. We would have the meeting. That email went out yesterday. Okay. Now, okay. I'm waiting to hear from him, and as soon as I hear when that meeting is, then I would like uh, a representative and I want their People. team yeah. that would be able to talk about the foundation mm -hmm. and then we're also talking about the demo project on the plaza yeah. and then I've got a SCADA project so we're trying to get that's what right get it all done in one meeting that's how far we are with this and and but we could tell Flaherty and Collins folks hey we'll, we'll get you guys in there first and get yeah, you out I, I mean that'd yeah. be fine and okay I don't think it's be one of them long meetings no it's, I, it's just information and they need to hear uh, yeah I agree <coughs> with you who do but you, have but you need us to I'm sorry sorry okay I'm just clarifying for minutes who did you send a letter to David Lasowski to what David Lasowski David Lasowski is letter our, our representative from the Corps of Engineers. He's the one that I, he's my contact. Okay. Thank you. Well, we still haven't decided how we're going to finance this. No, matter. we haven't. And that's that's something I we, we need to really come up with an idea of what we're going to do here. I mean, it's we've got we've got a, a couple Fine. options. And, and just so you know, uh, Richard and I talked to a person from um u.s bank because originally this guy who was at a me at the last meeting we had said well you know municipalities can do regular loans on that stuff and i said i don't think so i municipalities you got to bond you got to bond any project if you're going to borrow money i mean that's just the way yeah. it goes we've learned well that. after we talked to the guy that was in columbus or something from u.s bank he explained to us, yeah, we would have to purchase a bond just as much, just as well as you would. You know that, so mm -hmm. a bond has to be purchased if you finance it. Okay, um, but we're they're sending us a proposal. U.S. Bank is, so we're going to look at those at that as well to see if it is an interest to you guys or us. And uh, but either way, I mean, I think what we need to determine is we need to determine if going to finance any of it or not and if we are going to finance it how much do we want to bond and that's where i'm at i'm like 50 50 or something or how much do we want to put in how much do we want to may i make a suggestion on the bond on the how much piece yeah if we decide it's important to approach the bond then i would suggest it would be the minimum amount minimum amount required for the shortest term possible so that we're paying interest on the least amount of money. I would agree with but that. But I, and I, I agree think, with that. I think somebody can figure that out for us. But I, and I agree with that. I, I, I know exactly why, you, and I, I agree with that whole way of doing things. Pay as least interest we can. But what is our goal here? Is our goal to pay for this loan, or are we going to have to add to it with riverboat money? Well, I think right. part of that will, I mean, if somebody could work out that calculation for us, then we would, 
then we can back into right. what our payment strategy would on be. On the 600000 what we get in. Yeah. Well, it, that, we, uh, yeah, we can for sure get that done, and we will get that done to show you guys a, a way how the, here Here was my initial thought, um, and I don't know what that number will be to back into that number, but if there, if there was a way we could maybe uh, bond out, bond out the, the piece that it cost to build the garage, okay, the six million or whatever it is, six and a half million, I don't know what it's going to cost yet, it's in that neighborhood, and then the, the, the other piece, which is the gap, okay, the eight million or whatever that is, would be more of a, uh, we, we pay cash, or we pay cash for the six and a half and bond out the eight. My argument for all the citizens that ask you about this, I tell them this is a TIF area. Yeah. The money's coming from the TIF area to pay for that. We have to spend it in that TIF area. Yes. So I'd like to do as much as we can of the TIF area money mm -hmm. and, and we will. the river boat. Uh, but are, we gonna, are we gonna set up a regular meeting to just talk about this? Yeah, we can. We, we need to, because I got a lot of things I know, I, you know, everybody got things to do tonight. But the one thing that I would request, and I don't remember which city it was, but I think it was Kokomo. Kokomo had a, if I remember, you guys <coughs> will have to look at the paperwork, a $50 million project. Not only are we going to have to figure out how we're going to finance this, but we also got to figure out our agreement with it. The development can agreement. Can we yes. ask them to supply us with one or two development agreements that they've done in the past with these big cities that will give us a head start? Absolutely. We, we actually, uh, I, I didn't want to go directly to Flaherty and Collins and ask. I'd, I would rather ask somebody, um, another municipality that's worked with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, just to compare apples. Well, if they're going to call themselves partners with us, mm -hmm. and every time I ask, you know, partners is kind of different than what, but I think they would be anxious to show us. The oh, they will. They will. Yeah. So I just, all I'm saying is, is let's let's get a meeting scheduled. Let's really have a heart to heart on it. Well, we can do that, and and we'll invite, we'll just invite them down and do nothing but talk about that. And but we got to come up with some kind of. Uh, the development of agreement has to start getting developed uh, because there's they, they're going to have to start making some plans but part of that plan is that you, well you know that we need to finance first and then the development but you know that's that's all I'm saying yeah. is, is let's schedule it and let's we'll do get it. busy on it. Okay. and one thing too I'm worried about is on the building of it we're putting in 15 million they're putting in 15 million I want to see are we putting in three million and then they spend one and then we spend two and they spend a half or i want or somebody in there protecting our interests that we're not putting in 80 percent of the money and they're 20 at the That's end why I want yeah to, you know, we part of the part development part of agreement can include all that tony you're right okay. i agree part with you too um, um there's got to be some level of trust yeah but you're right. We want no trust in business. Well, <laughs> well, the problem is, is we're we're fifty percent of this. Yep. So we should have a uh, a seat at that table, yep. so to speak. But yeah, we're we're gonna make sure we're protected. That's for sure. But um, yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll just go ahead and get a meeting scheduled to do nothing but talk about that that piece of it and yep. try to level that that stuff out. That's all I got, guys and gals. So see everybody at Music on the River. Yeah. After choir practice. After choir practice. <coughs> Who's playing tonight? Duck and Barrel. Okay. Who is it? Oh, well, really, it was uh, <laughs> Abbott and Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be a lot of people there, trust me. We'll be good, Chef. It's on vacation. Hey, can I get a, a motion to adjourn, though? So moved. Second? I'll say it. All in favor? Opposed? You really want to sit here for a while? We didn't take a roll call. Did you see those boys over there? Okay, I wrote down here. Good. There you go. That one over checked on. Hey, she's done this before. That's what else I thought of. She's done it before, Mayor.